Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. The long-awaited return of the Quixel Megascans Medieval Village Sample Project is now available on Epic Games' fab platform for Unreal Engine 5. And if you guys have been following the saga of this pack, you probably already know that it's been a roller coaster. Originally, this sample project was released on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. However, it was removed when Epic transitioned to fab at the end of last year. Epic gave some vague reasons about it not aligning with their content requirements of fab. But guess what? The community actually spoke up and rallied together, and Epic Games listen. Now the iconic sample project is back and available for free to download on fab. This pack is a absolute gold mine for anyone creating medieval environments with over 500 high quality assets including photorealistic textures, modular building pieces, and stunning foliage. It's a game changer for world building inside of Unreal Engine 5. So whether you're crafting a open world RPG, a cinematic scene, or just experimenting with Unreal Engine 5's Lumen and Nanite systems, this pack has everything you need to bring your vision to life. So if you've been waiting to get your hands on this legendary pack, now is your guys' chance. In this video, we'll actually explore the Medieval Village pack in depth, break out all of these standout features, and show you how you can actually make the most of it in your own projects. And speaking of creating your own projects, if you ever dreamed of building a game inside of Unreal Engine 5, I've got something exciting for you. Right now, I'm offering a in-depth Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course, where I'll guide you step-by-step -step through the process of creating a fully functional survival game from complete scratch. We'll cover everything ranging from setting up the multiplayer networking and crafting systems to designing immersive environments just like the ones that you can create with the medieval village pack. So whether you are a beginner or experienced developer, this course will give you the tools and knowledge to bring your game ideas to life. So check the link in the description to enroll in the course today and kickstart your game development journey. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, so here we are inside of the medieval village project. And the first thing that you're going to notice when you load this up is that you have all of these different collision boxes and specifically these red boxes. Basically, all this is is the blocking volumes. So they have these little blocking volumes because this is like the pathway that the player will take. And also these other things, what you should be aware of, these little volumes over here, these are like the procedural foliage spawners. Basically, this is like pre-PCG. So if you're not familiar with the procedural foliage system, this is like an old feature because I believe this pack was actually released uh, back in Unreal Engine 4. So this is like pre-PCG before they actually add that system. But anyways, you can come over here and hit play. So yeah, here it is. I'm gonna press F11 and full screen this. And yeah, they have this pretty nice cutscene, honestly. Kind of reminds me of, you know, the arc cutscene when you spawn in on the beach, sort of looking around. But yeah, now we're in the game. So let me go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. I believe this is actually the pathway that we need to take. Let's go ahead and walk over here. I'm not sure why it spawns you facing the opposite direction. But yeah, check this out. This is all using some of the mega scans, the Quixel mega scans assets with nanites enabled. So a lot of this stuff is very detailed and this pack is a pretty large uh, asset pack to download. So it might take, you know, an hour or so depending on your internet connection. But yeah, check this out. We have this pretty impressive flag that's ripped up with cloth physics. So it's always impressive to see what the team over at Quixel is working on. And this field over here of wheat. I think there's like a little jump scare over here with like the scarecrow. Yeah. So if you look at the scarecrow, if you look away, he'll like turn a different direction every single time. It's kind of creepy. But yeah, you can see that guy also has cloth physics on him, which is pretty neat. But yeah, look down over here. All the detail and stuff like these stone walls. Even just the road itself. It's just impressive to see how detailed this environment. And this thing came out, I believe, in Unreal Engine 4 just a while ago. And back then, I believe they just used LODs for the project. So maybe you can download the old project and compare this to Unreal Engine 5. But this is just pretty impressive. You can even see we have things like crows flying off. So there's like little interaction that's built into the game, which is pretty cool. You don't really see that with a lot of the demos that Quixel you know, releases. Again, another one of the cloth physics. Uh, one thing you're gonna notice is that the time of day and everything dynamically changes. So you can see it's getting darker now. It's getting more foggy. And honestly, I never checked out this project until now. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing this project. And check that out, even the lamp has this little animation. So all these little details add up and just bring the scene to life. 
So check out the roof. We even have smoke coming out of the roof there. But yeah, I never was able to test out this project. I just didn't come around to making a video about it when it released uh, many years ago. But this is another pathway. Check this out. We have more of these sort of creepy things dangling from the trees. It's just impressive seeing this now all the way in 2025. But yeah, this is supposed to be like a burnt village. So I think this part got like raided or something. I'm not entirely sure what happened. But look at this. We have this well sort of in the center. And look at the lens flare on this thing. Honestly, all the little effects, the post-process effects really bring and sell this scene. But over here, I'm not sure why this entire thing looks purple. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or if that's a bug. Fire looks super purple for me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments about that. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. But yeah, look at stuff like the chain. Oh, look at that. There's like a blood splatter over there too with some flies. Honestly, this is just super detailed. I didn't expect it to be this detailed. Like you could see like these little flies over there. Even this cobblestone path. This is all nanite detail. So that's impressive. Now the thing to note is this is still Unreal Engine 5.3. Uh, they haven't yet updated this project to 5.5. So all of the stuff like the ground is actually using a blueprint spline. It's not using stuff like uh, nanite tessellation or, you know, a nanite landscape because in 5.3, they didn't have that feature released yet. So maybe they can go ahead and update this project to, you know, 5.5 and add things like uh, enabling nanite on the landscape itself. And I'm actually having trouble trying to get up here, so... Maybe we'll have to go around. So yeah, some of the collision might be a little bugged, but it's just expected. So yeah, this is another one of the shacks over here. But this is definitely one of the more impressive demos that Quixel has put out. I've got to say this is like in the top five of the all the demos that they've released. My top favorite one has got to be definitely the Dark Ruins pack. And I'll throw a picture of that pack up on the screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, over here we can, I think, walk past this wheat field. And this pathway should lead up to this uh, windmill. So this old windmill. Yeah, and I'm not sure why it's not letting us pass through this part. I think part of the collision is bug. Yeah, so maybe we'll just eject out of here and I'll show you guys the rest of this scene and some of the lighting. So if you press G, that will bring you into the game mode. If you guys didn't know, I'll just hide all the stuff, like the uh, blocking volumes and everything. So yeah, check this out. This is the windmill. It's just super detailed assets. You can zoom in. And these are all nanite quality assets and mega scans. So they're all assets that you can actually use commercially in your games and projects. And even the trees, I think the trees are from a free asset pack that you can also get separately on the marketplace. So yeah, this project is honestly just visually impressive. And like I mentioned, everything in this scene is pretty much nanite quality. And I can show you guys what I mean if we go into the nanite visualization, triangles, pretty much everything is nanite enabled other than stuff like the uh, landscape. Actually, I think this is like the path. So this might be like a blueprint spline. So yeah, like I said, this is still 5.3. So there's definitely things that have been updated to support things like nanite splines and stuff like that. You can see stuff like these arrows don't have nanite enabled on them. And maybe the cloth, because it has, you know, cloth physics. But other than that, you have things like the trees, the foliage with nanite enabled, which is why you don't see a lot of LOD pop in of the trees or any tree cards for that matter. But yeah, check this out. These are the little crows that fly off, which are honestly pretty detailed themselves. So pretty nice and neat crow model there. You can use that for your game. And this is one of the areas. I think this is like a broken down wagon or pathway. But some of these assets, they kind of make me think about using them for like a World War II or maybe World War I type, you know, trench warfare type game, especially like the different dead trees and, you know, rock walls. I feel like you could make some sort of trench out of that 
just some of the assets that you find in this collection. So maybe that is something that we'll do in a future video. But yeah, here's the fire. Like I said, I'm not sure why it was looking purple uh, when we were testing it out. But honestly, I love the fire effects, the particle effects. So yeah, you can see these are all Niagara systems, particle effects for the fire. So yeah, let me show you guys the overall scene because I need to zoom out and just give you guys a good idea of how big the map is. So the playable section is, you know, you start over there, that's where we spawn in. These are like the wheat fields. And like this is sort of the village area. So the player can actually roam around uh, in quite a bit of the map, but you can see they've sort of sectioned off the parts that they don't want the player running around. So it's a pretty decent sized map to say the least. But yeah, that is the Medieval Village Sample Project. They've got all sorts of assets in here. And, you know, a lot of them are nanite quality. So yeah, definitely check it out right now on Fab. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Let me know if you guys have any problems downloading this asset pack. I was actually having an issue trying to claim it on Fab. So I'm wondering if they uh, fix that issue. But yeah, let me know down in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.